Want to play on a server with friends, but don't want to restart your save? In today's video, we're going to go over how to upload a world to a 7 days to die server so you can start exactly where you left off. We'll first go over how to do a randomly generated world, and then we'll go over how to upload a Navas gain world. First, we're going to go locally to find our single player world. We're going to press the Windows and R key, and we're going to type the following. Percent app data percent backslash seven days to die. Once we press enter or okay, we're gonna be in this folder. We're gonna go into the saves folder and within this folder will be your worlds here. We can go ahead and minimize this for now. And we're gonna log into our Bicetosting games panel and choose our seven days to die server. Next, we're gonna choose the stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the files tab and we're gonna go into the dot local folder then the share folder, then seven days to die, and lastly, saves. We can now reopen that minimized folder, and we're gonna take the world that we want to upload, we're gonna right click the folder, hover send to, and choose compressed zipped folder. This will then zip up that save, and then once it's zipped, we can go ahead and drag it into the folder here on the server. Once it's uploaded, we're going to right click the folder and choose unarchive. Once that's unarchived, we then need to go back to the container folder, then go into the data folder, then the worlds folder. We can now reopen the local files and we're going to go back to the seven days to die folder and go into the generated worlds folder. Within here, we're going to right click the world we're using. We're going to send to compressed zipped folder. Once that's zipped, we are then going to drag in that .zip file onto the server. Once it's done uploading, we are going to right click and choose unarchive. We will now need to apply the settings to the server. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the config files dropdown menu and select server config. From here, we're gonna to navigate to the world section, which by default is around line 59. We are going to change the game world value equals line to the name of the folder that you uploaded for the world. Once that's been changed, we then need to change the world gen size within the value equals quotations. It needs to equal the size of the world used. So for us, it's 6144. Lastly, we need to change the game name value to be the same name of the save folder that we originally uploaded. Once we've changed these values, we can choose the save content button. Then we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have uploaded a world to our seven days to die server. We will now go over how to upload a Navis gain world to a seven days to die server. First, from our desktop, we're gonna open the run menu with the windows and R key. Then we're gonna type the following, percent app data percent backslash seven days to die. Within this folder, we're going to go into the saves folder. Once this is open, we can go ahead and minimize this folder and log into our Bicetosting games panel and choose our seven days to die server. Next, we're going to choose the stop button to stop the server. We'll then go to the files tab and we're going to go into the dot local folder, then the share folder, then seven days to die, and lastly saves. We can now reopen the minimized folder and go into the Navis gain folder. And within this folder, you'll see all your saves here. Whichever save that you would like to have on your server, we're going to drag into the server. Once it's done uploading, we need to change the files to make sure this applies. So we're gonna choose the config files dropdown menu and select server config. Once open, we're looking for the line game world, which is around line 59 by default. And on the property name equals game world line, the value equals in between the parentheses needs to read Navis game. Once that's been changed, we then need to go to the game name line and we need to change the value equals between the quotation marks as the save name that we uploaded. Once that's changed, we can choose the save content button. Once that's been changed, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have uploaded a Navis game world to our seven days to die server. Thanks for watching and check out bisectoasting.com, your ultimate gaming partner.